Hi everyone, hope you're well. Um, just thought I'd do another behind the scenes video to show you some of the things we're working on here at Valve and Process Solutions. Um, today what we've got is we've got some free issue knife gate valves for one of our customers in the uh, sugar industry and they've asked us to fit some Westlock control monitors. Um, this is our Westlock quantum control monitor that has the integrated solenoid. I just wanted to show you the solution because it's really, really neat when you're fitting it to something like a knife gate valve. So we've got a rotary to linear um, conversion kit which converts the linear motion of the valve and the actuator into a rotary motion so that we can uh, get feedback to the switch box and see what's actually happening with the valve. Um, the solenoid is integrated, so it's a really neat solution. You're not having to put any extra bracketry on to mount a solenoid. It's all housed within the, uh, within the Westlock switch box housing. Um, we've got the beacon on there for visual indication to give us open and close. We've got a couple of switches inside, or proximity sensors in this case, to tell us whether the valve is open or closed. We've got the visual beacon, and what you might notice a little bit different on this one is that you can actually see that it's black for the closed position and yellow for the open, which is actually different, as you can see, the standard beacon of Westlock. So it's actually the other way around, which is just a little uh, nuance that the customer has asked for, and we've managed to accommodate that by working with Westlock and uh, changing that beacon around for them. So it's a double acting cylinder, so we've got a five two-way solenoid on here. It's 24 volts. We're all piped up with the air, etc. So I'm just going to open and close this for you just to show you how that works. So I think it might be something nice for, uh, for you to see. Um, and uh, here we go. So we've got the 24 volts onto the solenoid. We're all wired up. And then we press energize. Air starts to fill the cylinder. It's quite a big cylinder, so it takes a little bit of time to, uh, to react. Slowly the valve opens. As the valve opens, you can actually see the rotor to, rotary to linear conversion working and the beacon's changing from the closed position to the open position. If the customer wanted to, we could speed this up by putting a larger CV solenoid on there so that the air would pass through a lot quicker and operate the valve a lot quicker. But they're quite happy with a, a reasonably slow opening and closing time on this valve. It's not critical to the process. So that's the valve fully open. And then just to give you a little glimpse inside, we've got the coil inside, so it's actually protected from the environment. We've got the terminal strip. We've got the standard touch set cams that we all know and love inside for setting the uh, proximity sensors or the switches. And in this instance, the site standard is IFM. So we've got two IFM proximity sensors in there. We've got the nice little telltale on the uh, solenoid, which I've mentioned in previous videos, that tells us that if we can see that the solenoid is energized and the valve's not moving, we know it's something below the switch box. If we energize it and we don't see that little telltale sign, we know that it's something the other side of the solenoid, maybe the electronics, maybe one of the wiring connections or something like that. Um, if we needed to change the solenoid for a bigger CV, we could just undo the two bolts take the, uh, the spool piece off and put a larger CV spool piece on there. So it's a really nice, neat solution, um, as opposed to a standalone switch box and a solenoid. We're putting it all into one nice, neat package and it makes really good sense for the customer. Um, we're gonna supply this all ready to go. We've got another three or four to do for the customer. So to finish off, I'll just close the valve for you. So we de-energize. And because it's double acting, we put air into the other side of the cylinder. The valve's slowly starting to close. You can see the shaft turning, and eventually the cam will line up with the closed position sensor. So there you have it, a Westlock quantum control monitor with linear to rotary conversion kit fitted to a double acting knife gate valve. Thanks very much for watching.